Welcome to this third video on how a MIDI controller can be used as a console for let's say a video editor like DaVinci Resolve or any other app for that matter. In the first video we saw the Behringer X-Touch 1 at work with DaVinci Resolve. In the second video we saw how it is done with the Boom MIDI Translator app. And in this video we'll have a look at another way to do it, which is to make use of an app called Auto Hotkey plus a piece of software, a script, uh, which is called MIDI to Keypress. Let's have a look. Auto Hotkey is a program with which we can manipulate almost anything in Windows. The documentation is quite extensive and if you'd like to know more the quick start tutorial is a great way to start. Let's do a quick example. This is a auto hotkey script and what it does is if control N is pressed on the keyboard it tells auto hotkey to run the notepad app then wait 1000 milliseconds that's just to give notepad the chance to start up properly and then send the keystrokes hello. Return ends this piece of the script. Let's save this and the name will be well just test. Uh, oh no, extension is auto hold key A H K and save it. And now this script is available here in my documents folder. Yeah, there it is, test A H K. When I click it, nothing happens. Yeah, that seems to be, but Auto hotkey has started and it tells me it is now running the script test AHK. So whenever I press Ctrl N it should start Notepad. Well let's try it out. Ctrl N. Yeah and after one second it prints hello. This is how Auto hotkey can manipulate almost anything inside Windows. And it can send keystrokes to an opened app. That's what we are going to use by translating incoming MIDI messages into keystrokes that DaVinci Resolve uh, understands. What we need to add to the auto hotkey script is the possibility to read MIDI messages. Luckily the script for that was readily available on GitHub. Uh, th many thanks to everyone who contributed to that. I downloaded it and modified it such that uh, the Behringer X-Touch 1 MIDI messages are translated to DaVinci Resolve. I uploaded my modified uh, script and please feel free to download it here from GitHub and use it or modify it yourself further or distribute it. There is no license as far as I'm concerned. When you downloaded it, you should have this xtouch one to DaVinci Resolve AHK file. Uh, yeah, let's open it. And the first thing it does, it, it doesn't have any MIDI port open yet, so it asks, asks about that. Just click OK. Now it has some, some error, but uh, yeah, if I click OK, luckily it goes through and it finds my xtouch one. I hope you have the same luck in your situation. Uh, done, reload, yeah, and I now have over here a new file that is created by Auto Hotkey. That is the INI file and that INI file uh, contains my MIDI uh, ports and so forth. So just leave that file there and these steps will not be taken again. At the top here we see uh, yeah, a MIDI monitor window and if I press a button on the uh, Behringer X-Touch 1, look what happens, it reads in that MIDI note information or I also have CC messages. Um, so yeah, we can now talk to Auto Hotkey and what we need to do now is with each incoming MIDI message translate it to the appropriate uh, DaVinci Resolve shortcut that we like it to have. That translation is done in the auto hotkey script from line 40 onwards uh, over here. You can add your own instructions. Well, the instruction that I have 
um, edited inside the script right now are the ones that were shown in video one. If you like to modify them, that is quite easy. Uh, yeah, just press the button uh, on the Behringer that you would like to uh, work on, and that uh, I did that right now. I pressed a button. It tells me which data one and data two it received, and then you can just create a line over here. Data ninety, uh, data one ninety, and data two one two seven is over here. Uh, right now it is uh, shift control shift z which is the redo button but if you like to change that just send another shortcut uh, the auto hotkey documentation uh, of the send command tells you everything you need to know about how to do it where sometimes you uh, have these little uh, yeah sort sort shortcut codes for control shift uh, or you need to use brackets uh, that send that information on the auto hotkey um, help file is, is extensive so you can find really anything you like to do over there actually this is it uh, video one shows how it works so we are done we have the auto hotkey uh, app uh, controlling DaVinci Resolve by receiving Behringer x 1 MIDI messages. It need not be the Behringer x 1, any MIDI controller will do. And it also need not be DaVinci Resolve, any other app can be controlled too. Isn't that great fun? Well, maybe see you back in a future video. And in the meantime, have fun.